Hello, this is the week of May the 3rd in the year of our Lord 2020. This past week, for some reason, I thought of Mr. Rogers, who once said that his mother told him when he was a little boy and he asked her um, about scary things in the news and about difficult and painful things in the news. And his mother gave him some simple advice of how to handle that. She said to him, always look for the helpers. I have a sneaking suspicion that signs of God's continued watchful care, signs of hope are in the helpers. With this past April 27th was the 100th birthday of one of those helpers. Captain Tom Moore, retired Royal Air Force, celebrated his 100th birthday. But even of more significance than that, and earlier in April, Captain Moore, who had just had hip surgery and who was 99 at the time, began trying to raise money for the health system in Britain. And he hoped to raise about a thousand pounds by walking and asking people to give on a website. Well, he raised more than a thousand pounds. In fact, between the beginning of April and his birthday on April the 27th, he raised more than $40 million. People from all over the world gave money to support and help the national health system during this crisis. People from all over the world, from England itself. Mr. Rogers' mother was right. If you want to see the hand of God, even in the midst of most difficult times, look for the helpers. There were helpers who raised $40 million and there was a helper named Captain Tom Moore, retired Royal Air Force, who turned 100 last week. There's a prayer on the website of the Episcopal Church under the COVID-19 response that prays for the helpers. Compassionate God, support and strengthen all those who reach out in love, concern and prayer for the sick and the distressed. In their acts of compassion, may they know that they are your instruments. In their concerns and fears, may they know your peace. In their prayer, may they know your steadfast love. May they not grow weary or faint-hearted for your mercy's sake. Amen. Love God, love your neighbor, love yourself. God bless you and keep the faith. Amen.